Good afternoon YouTube and welcome once again back to Fat Cat Collections. And today I want to share with you guys another amazing watch. Uh, it's one of my favorite watches in my collection. Uh, and this one here is right now on loan uh, from my guy over at Watchstar Watch Group. And uh, this company's put out some amazing themed watches. Um, you know, guys, I love Invicta watches. I love Aragon watches. I love all watches. But I love unique watches more than anything. And that's why I always kind of gravitate mostly towards Invicta. But when another company comes out with something that's really off the chain, really unique, um, it just really excites me because we all like different things. Especially if you're an Invicta collector, the whole idea with why Invicta Watch is so cool is because they make so many different models, so many different styles, and they're always coming out with something new. And that's why we become addicted to stuff. It's like another new one for the wrist. And you know, guys, it's cool. I like the big giant watch thing. You guys know if you've been watching Fat Cat for a long time, you guys know I like the over the top, in your face, gigantic, gaudy, thank you for saying so, Invicta watch. Uh, but doesn't mean I don't like smaller watches too. But for me to get a smaller watch, and when I say small, this is not a small watch, but it's smaller than some of the Invictas. But it's got to have something very special. And I've reviewed this watch before. I own this watch, not this particular color, but I had to get this color on the channel to share with you guys. And this is the bad boy right here by Watchstar Watch Group. And this is the Superstar Generation 2. Uh, guys, this is one of my most worn watches. Uh, you know, I'm not rich. I'm a working guy like everybody else. I work my main job and I work this job. And this is a job that I love. The other job, you know, it pays the bills, right? A lot of us, you know, aren't in love with our jobs. But it's okay. I, I appreciate it. But when I get to share stuff with you guys, this is my real passion. That's why I keep doing it. That's why it's not a job to me. But it is, a, it is something that does produce me money. It makes me money. I'm always up front with you guys when you use my links and make a purchase through eBay or Amazon or whatever link in the description. It does help to support the channel. It keeps me going. I keep buying cool stuff to share with you guys. And it keeps me reaching out to companies saying, hey, let's collaborate. Let me Send me something. Let me share it. Let me get it on the channel. Because there's lots of stuff out there that you'll never find on YouTube unless people share it. And so I love sharing watches with you guys. And this company, if you don't know the story, you haven't seen my review on the one that I have, I have the all yellow gold version uh, with the white topaz stones and let me just I know I have a tendency to keep going on and on so let me just give you guys a couple close-ups here um, and if this watch looks kind of familiar it's because this watch is modeled after a stealth fighter that was what they're going for the aggressive chiseled lines the uh, the uh, lugs that wrap all the way to the kind of side of the wrist almost uh, it's done on like a poly where a poly or a rubber strap which based on my opinion on this because it has a vanilla odor, it almost seems like, um, and I know it sounds weird, but um, Isofrain is a strap company who makes a, it's not rubber, it's not poly, it's actually called Isofrain, and they actually sent the material with vanilla. So this has kind of that odor, it has that feel, and Isofrain is supposed to feel like skin on your wrist. And I can tell you that I have an Isofrain on my, my Aqua Dive, and this feels very, very similar. I don't know if it is, but I suspect it is. Um, I love the fact that this watch also, that the watch stars have this beautiful uh, double locking buckle or deployment clasp. You press it on each side here, and you have that beautiful big giant watch star logo. Uh, just off the chain, over the top, uh, super high quality on the buckle, the strap. I mean, everything about this watch is absolutely awesome. You have a decorated case back right here, which the only thing I have to say about it, I wish they would have made that one big star so you'd actually see the movement. Um, it is powered by a Seagull 32 Joule uh, chronograph movement. So it is an automatic chronograph watch. Although this watch you don't buy for the function of the chronograph. It's cool that it has 32 joules. That's amazing. But you buy this watch because of the looks. You have a little bit of loom on each star. Those are your indices. Uh, you have a little bit of loom on the, uh, the, the hands, of course and a little bit at the end of the uh, the second hand. And then of course the stars are part of your chronograph. So not really, uh, kind of hard to read. If you're looking for a true you know, tool watch, this is not what you buy. This you buy for uh, the pizzazz, for the compliments. People, every time I wear one, people are like, that thing is amazing. I've never seen anything like that. When I post pictures of this online, people are just blown away. It really is one of the most unique watches that I've ever seen. It's a great quality watch. I love this particular color combination. Uh, and again, guys, like I said, you know, I was getting off on a tangent there, but I'm a working guy. You know, I don't want to spend, you know, $300 a month on watches, although I could, I could probably spend, I could spend more, okay? But the thing is, I buy one watch maybe every couple months. It has to really speak to me, and I tell you, these watches really do. I wish I had one in each color. 
I'm kind of waiting until I get the black one with the blue topaz, just because uh, that one kind of speaking to me. But this one here is absolutely stunning as well. Yeah, beautiful baby blue face, the baby blue uh, topaz around the bezel. And you can see how the bezel has all those different angles. This thing, when the lights hit, it just sparkles. It's got so many reflective points. Uh, it is absolutely stunning. Um, on portion of the these screws right here if you look I don't know if you can see it by the video but these are actually screws the head of it doesn't isn't like a isn't like a hex gun or a screw it's actually a star so they keep that star theme throughout the watch hence the name watch star superstar uh, this is the generation 2 the generation 1 is a little bit more it's skeletonized and it has a different face more of a starburst kind of look um, I love this watch I love it I hope that when they come out with the generation 3 they do what I recommend and put one big star on the back where you can really see that seagull movement uh, nice thing about it, you know, the whole point of the exhibition window uh, is so you can see that beautiful uh, rotor swinging around. Uh, it, I like to actually see the movement. But nonetheless, it is still really cool that it, there, there is a lot of pizzazz. You can obviously see uh, the star theme on this watch uh, is absolutely breathtaking. I love it. I wore this today. Uh, nothing but compliments. It's just a great piece. So a little bit more about the watch uh, right off their listing, and I will put a link in the description like I always do where you can pick this up through eBay. That's where the seller sells. Uh, you get it for $3.99, shipped to your door through my links. Um, basically, again, it's modeled after the Stealth Fighter Jet. The case and the bezel feature a sleek and clean look with angles in the form of triangles. Uh, a polished push-pull crown adorns the side with a star engraving on the top. So hopefully you can see that by the video. The crown does have an engraved star on there or a recessed star. Uh, none of these are screw down function pusher crowns, uh, but you do have a little bit of water resistance and that is, uh, let me tell you guys, 10 ATM or 100 meters. Uh, Art Deco style face, all 316 L stainless steel. Uh, watch size at the bezel, 49 millimeters. So a little smaller than that 50 mark that you guys, I know all you guys, all some Victor lovers like to stay above, but let me tell you, it wears a lot larger because it's such a long watch lug to lug. So that's about it guys, that's really all I have to say about this watch. Uh, other than the band, there is a texture on that band, they're chevrons. Um, just a really great looking watch. This would be a great candidate if they made this with a white band. This watch would look sick with a white band. Or, I've been getting a lot of people commenting, um, this watch would look great on a bracelet. So hopefully down the road, maybe Generation 3, they do something on a stainless steel bracelet. You guys know I'm more of a bracelet fan, but this is one watch I make an exception for. So without further ado, let's throw in the wrist. Um, I already have this pre-sized. Uh, I have a seven inch wrist, so I am on the second to last hole on this. Is that right? Let me double check that. I am on the, yeah, second to last hole. So if you were a six and a half wrist, you could probably get away with that. Other than that, you're gonna go all the way up to, I'd probably say eight or nine inches. Uh, so you have plenty of room to move there if, you ever, if you're a bigger guy with a bigger wrist. Um, I just love that, that once you size it, you just use that buckle. You don't have to keep wearing out the material or wearing out the buckle if it was leather. Um, it's just nice to just basically set it, it's set to you, and you have your buckle. So let me go ahead and throw it on the wrist. I just get really excited with this watch. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I knew, um, and the story behind this is I, as soon as I saw a picture of this, I knew I had to reach out to the, to the company, and I was lucky enough to become... Uh, acquaintances with the owner and he was nice enough to send me some of this great stuff he makes uh, for you guys to share on the channel so here is what it, here's what it looks like on a seven inch wrist uh, I'm about five foot seven and a half I weigh about 170 pounds and that is on a seven inch wrist you can see how long it is lug to lug it really wears like a much larger watch I mean you can see the size I mean seven inch wrist it looks a lot bigger than it actually is and part of that also has to do with that beautiful bright silver finish that beautiful 316L stainless steel the long lug at different angles and that mirror polishing uh, strategically placed around the bezel and of course on the end of the lugs it is absolutely an amazing piece and I wish I had one in every color and again I've always said too, guys gemstones on men, men's watches very hard to come by not many people do it and I mean I love the fact that they're doing it on these watches and I hope they continue to do more watches with gemstones because it's just it's just a hard thing to find Aragon does it, Invicta makes a few, but not that many, and this is just an exceptional looking piece. I just look at it sparkle when I turn my wrist. Look at all those different angles catching the light, and we're not even out in bright daylight here. We're in my office, as you guys always complain about my lighting. I hope it looks better today. I'm using that new lighting system uh, by 
Rolino, I always forget the name. So I'll put a link to that in the description too if you want to check them out. $51 uh, for three tripods, four umbrellas, and the sockets and bulbs, and carrying case, pretty good deal. Great way to add some better lighting if you're an up and coming YouTuber or you're, you're in that position like me where I just didn't know what to buy. That company was nice enough to send me that to, uh, to check out and give it a whirl. And I, I've gotten a couple compliments saying the lighting is better. So uh, please let me know what you guys think. If you guys have been watching me for a while based on this video, uh, let me know if the lighting looks better. Let me know if it's more enjoyable to watch. And that's about it, guys. Once again, Watchstar, thank you for your generosity in sending me these watches. Um, I wish I could keep them, but I can't. So uh, anyway, guys, thanks again for watching. Remember, if you like the content, subscribe to the channel, but click that bell to the right of the subscribe button so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Uh, keep keep posting those wrist shots on my Facebook page. Facebook call, C-O-L-L is the last name. Uh, find me on there, friend request me. Uh, become part of the new watch group I, uh, I just put up, Invicta Watch Collectors United. Uh, great page for getting all the new deals and I'm always putting deals on my Facebook page So uh, this is going up there anytime I see something that's an exceptional deal something you might want to bid on if you're in the market for this Let me know what you're looking for. Uh, I'll do my best to find it I mean, this is what I do guys. I, I find watches I find watches that maybe some of my buddies have owned that maybe you can't get anymore And uh, you know, I try to hook people up with things that they love and share awesome things that I love So alright guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think if you want to make a purchase Drop me a comment. I'll see if I can get you a little bit of a discount if you get directly through me uh, right now $3.99 on eBay which is pretty much what these are going for uh, these are limited edition pieces there's only 50 made I believe of each one let me double check that before I put my foot in my mouth here let me double check I thought this one was yeah so limited to 500 this is number 96 in this particular one here so uh, 500 you know it's kind of a big run but it's kind of a, in, a lot of companies who put out um, limited edition time pieces at 500 seems to be kind of a going number for ones they're not trying to make too limited because then the price goes up uh, but still once they're gone they're gone so uh, definitely check these out uh, there was one watch that went it was a watch star first generation with the white silver white band which I'm a big fan of uh, silver and gold face um, that one went so that's gone so uh, definitely something to add to your collection guys I'm telling you if you're an Invicta lover Pick this up. You won't be disappointed. All right, guys. Have a great day and take care.